guys today we got sent a picture by a good friend Jimmy Irvin he told me check this spot out and that's what I'm gonna be doing right now it's like it's, it looks kind of weird so I don't even know how I'm gonna skate it to be honest so let me just show you Ollie over is the only thing that looks like I can do so far but who knows who, who knows what else is going to be doable here, so let's just start skating. I got the boot from a security guard in there, uh, but this looks really cool. Like, we were about to leave that parking lot with that wall thing, and this, we just saw it from the side of the road, this random ass concrete kicker. This thing's good, I just need a broom. The ground though, the ground looks chalk. So it's cool. We'll see what we we'll just warm up on this and then dip out to the next spot. So let's start warming up here. Alright guys, that's it for this spot. It was pretty cool, cool warm-up spot. We were gonna warm up at that other spot, but you know, got kicked out. So now we're off to another spot. See what else we can go to and skate. Let's do this. Alright, uh, almost two weeks ago I tried to ollie a three, flat three. So I'm gonna do it today, right now. Hopefully I do a first try and we, we're out of here because last time there's a bunch of dogs just barking at me on the opposite side of the rollaway. So let's get this. Stoked I got it. There's almost no runway to that set, bro. Like seriously. Oh well, I got it. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the next spot. And I think this is where we're gonna end the session for today here at Kernside. So let's go get some DIY fun sesh in. It's pretty awesome. Feels good out here right now. Let's get in here. Very awesome, very hyped that we still have this place. This place is one of the sickest DIYs ever. So here we go.
What's up guys? So session's almost done. Sun's right not rising, it's sun setting, you know. So wanna talk talk a little bit about the crockets, how they're feeling. So here they are. Let me brighten it up. Check it out. You see that? Starting to wear some tears right there. Right here, right here, and you can see that from kick flipping for my switch, not so much, barely looks like it. So they feel really good. Um, they feel really comfortable whenever I jump down stuff. I don't know, don't know really much how to talk about shoes, but they're good. They're not ripping really too quick. I do feel like there's a strong layer for where the kickflip is, but I'm pretty sure like if I kept keep doing like kickflip tricks for maybe an, another few days, like I'd say like four to seven days, like a week of continuously doing kickflip tricks, or if I keep learning uh, flip tricks, then I'm pretty sure they'll rip way quicker than what most people go through. I don't know. You guys are skateboarders, you know. You know how fast you go through shoes, but these are lasting me longer than my last pair. My last pair kind of ripped really quickly. Those were the Adidas. They weren't really uh, any pro shoes. I think they were like a team edition. I don't know. But they ripped really quickly compared to these right here. So these are lasting a good while, which they're like 70 bucks. So yeah, just updating on the shoes. Right there, 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 there. The, the bottom has so much, bottom has so much, this looks crazy, so much grip on the bottom. Someone commented, like, aren't I vegan? Yes, I'm vegan, but with shoes and clothes, I don't really do that because who knows, I could probably be wearing a non-vegan shirt and not know. Uh, I don't know, so I, I try not to worry about that, but I am vegan when it comes to eating purposes other than that I'm just trying out shoes seeing what works for me so shoes are good yep so let's see what else we're doing here Dude, no, this one, Mark. what happened Mark I just want to lay down and not think about skateboarding why what happened let us know your story. Can't land tricks. Well, there's a lot of people in the world that can't land tricks. But I can't land tricks. And how does that make you feel? Like a failure. Like a big fat failure. But it's part of skateboarding. It's so hard. It's so hard. They say this is like one of the hardest sports ever. And I'm starting to like realize that. <laughs> but you land tricks. I've seen you land tricks. I guess I'm just not technical. Do you want to get technical? <laughs> I just need a, I, I need like a bag of tricks. I don't really have a bag of tricks. Well, let us know what type of tricks do you want to learn? Like, I want to learn front side flips. I want to learn, like, mm, hard flips. Mm. And I guess just get really comfortable with those and then, you know, get like varial heel flips. And I really want to learn how to grind on round rails, dude. Those are so fucking hard. We've seen you grind round rails. I guess 5-0 round rails. Dude, that is one of the dumbest tricks to do on a circle rail. I it know. makes me upset too. It's so hard. It's so hard. This is all just so hard. <laughs> you're okay, Rival man. Rise. You're okay. I, you're not the only one that gets upset from trying to learn how to skateboard. People are learning how to go fast. People are learning how to do their ollies. People are learning to think about learning new tricks. And even those concepts itself makes people upset because they want to be 
probably as good as you are and you want to get only better you see what I'm saying now the cycle just doesn't end sometimes it's better to just turn it off and just think about what you really want and the best advice I could give is just if you really want it you just got to go through that mental pain which is stay there and learn it sometimes that is the most tedious thing ever You got it, man. Don't worry, you're not alone. There's a lot of people out here like us that just want to learn and get better at skateboarding. Skateboard. It's gotta work on my footwork. <laughs> well, start off with little things. Front shoves, front shoves evolve into hard flip, varial heel flip, laser. Uh, front I, side flip dude, from honest, big spin. Honestly, out of all of the amount of time I've spent on a skateboard, I have never practiced tricks. Never, there you go. Never. And people practice tricks. So. That's what it is. I've just I've never had the patience to just keep well, going at it. I think that now is the time to learn how to be patient, so you're able to learn tricks and progress I've learned tricks and sometimes I've gotten so mad that it just I just wanted to break my board but then it's like how am I gonna learn how to do a trick if I break my board we've all been there my friend but if you learn tricks you'll you'll get better <laughs> it's time to learn tricks guys I think that's well all right guys this was a very <laughs> different turn for the video <laughs> from the start but I hope you guys enjoyed the video <laughs> <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video let us know if you've ever felt the way Mark just did um, He's definitely been wanting to learn new tricks so he could do new tricks for his video part. So, I don't know. Let let us know in the comments section how you guys feel about learning new tricks or just progressing in general. And thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have made it this far. Just like Jeremy used to skate, just, <laughs> Jeremy used to say, Skooky Wookie. I don't know what that means. Marco Leche, he used to say that one too. And yeah, guys, thank you guys for another awesome time. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Good morning, afternoon, and good night to all you guys because you guys are all over the world. So it'll be cool to meet all of you guys one day. So sayonara till tomorrow's video. Later, guys.